Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 19, and I've got a couple of plans today, and they are going to consist of putting a welding, a welder, on one of my ships. And the reason I want to put a welder on one of my ships is because I've decided to not change my welding times anymore. I'm going to leave my welding times at, at their, like, where they are, which is, you know, they're pretty long. Uh, but I'm going to leave them where they are because welding ships, which I've been playing around with on the single on the multiplayer world, are actually quite good, and uh, I'm thinking about using them here. So what we're going to do is we I have an idea for a welding ship that's going to look kind of like this, except it's going to have two welders on one side and two grinders on the other side, and they're all going to be connected for one grinding welding behemoth. It's going to be awesome. I built it on the multiplayer server. It works, and I love it. But it's going to take a lot of welding and I kind of want a welding ship in the meantime. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drill off this ship. This is my first ship. I never named this thing. I call this the Mosquito. Maybe. Yeah, why not? It looks like a Mosquito. Oh, there we go. And our thingamabob just went flying. Yeah, whatever. It's not even worth going to get. Um, oh boy, so this thing's going to be all moving around. All right, well, let's get ourselves a gyroscope. And let's just plop it on top for now, just to get it on there. And then we will uh, fly this thing back to our ship. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Build, fool. Yeah, this is, this, I think this is the second time I've knocked the gyroscope off the ship and had it go flying off. And it's starting to gain some speed, so I need to, I need to fix this. There we go. And turn you on, and there we go. Okay. Let's bring you back. <laughs> That's the second time I've done this with this ship. It's not a good place for a gyroscope. That's what it boils down to. Alright. So we're going to leave that on so it doesn't go flying around again. Although, I, I want to turn the lights off. The reason I turned it off in the first place was because the lights were annoying. Uh, spotlights. Off. Off. I could, probably could have just pressed L. Yeah, I could have just pressed L. Oh, well. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so what I want to do is I got to take this off and um, give me one second to think about the design I want to go with and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the thing. Um, this whole uh, conveyor system is completely pointless on this thing. This thing is not going to be spitting out materials at all. Uh, that's not what it's going to be doing. Basically, all it needs is... Uh, it does, God, it doesn't even need an ore detector. What all this thing is going to need is a welder and um, probably a medium or small cargo container to store the items that the welder will use to build. Because uh, the welder kind of uses the items in its uh, inventory, kind of like the way you use the items in your inventory when you're welding. So I'm going to take all these conveyors off. No conveyors on this thing. Uh, this ship is actually um, a very early design that um, isn't really one I'm going to use anymore. Oh boy. Apparently there was a 3.34k iron in that thing uh, and that will disappear. So uh, can I just drop this in here? I've never done this before. Let me see. Can I drop that in there? I should be able to. Let's see how this goes. Here, check this out. And beautiful. Wow. It actually worked. I mean, it makes sense that it would work, but you never know. Um, pick that up. I keep trying to hit E to interact with everything because I haven't played Space Engineers in a little bit. And um, E is how most other games interact with stuff. So, you know, if I want to put stuff back in my system, I could... No, that goes directly to the... Never mind. Um, oh, boy. This thing's floating away. What is this? Where'd it go? There it is. Spotlight, okay. Yeah, this was not a well-designed ship. So basically, with these small ships now, I have a pre-designed uh, idea for the main part of the ship, which is what I used on the Autumn Nicole over there. And basically, I'm just going to show you this because it's really important. Basically, the, the first idea of the ship is you put, the, uh, you put the, um, the cockpit in, and then you put one layer of, of uh, armor. Then you put another layer of armor surrounding a big reactor and you just surround the reactor so usually it's it's a cockpit with a reactor surrounded surrounded by 
light armor blocks along the bottom, the top, and every which way. And that's going to be the way all my ships are going to start off. Now, where I put the the thrusters and whatever else goes on the ship is all going to be up in the air, but that's going to be the main power of the ship. And I'm going to make all my ships like that from now on. This was um, yeah, this was a really, really poorly designed ship. Although this was kind of like a minimalistic ship, I kind of wanted to just get it like you know going. So not really that big of a deal. Now, the reason I'm not going to be changing the welding times is twofold. First of all, uh, the welding, changing every time the game updates, I think I mentioned this before, but every time the game updates, I'm going to have to go through and change all the welding speeds again, which is quite annoying, uh, but I would do it. I would, I would happily do it. But the reason I'm not going to is because now with the welding ships, you know, if you don't like the welding time, build yourself a welding ship. So there's no reason to change it now. So let's see what this looks like on there. No, that's no good. Oh, you know what we need? We need a... Let's see what a small cargo container looks like. Yeah, that's too small. Let's go with a medium. The medium cargo container is going to be pretty freaking big. Uh, I could put it on the sides. I really don't want to redesign this too much. Honestly, I just wanted to slap the cargo container and the welder on there. Um, I could probably still do it, although it's, it's going to look pretty ugly. Um, give me one sec. Let me think about this. Okay. Okay, I think I have an idea, and it's going to be a little bit more ambitious than I originally hoped, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. Let's put, uh, let's put some landing gear on this first. We do need to, we need to anchor this, because we're going to be messing around with thrusters. Alright, now that I got that thing safely landed, we're going to take off the, uh, the retro thrusters. And we'll probably put them on top or something. It doesn't really matter where we put them. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the large cargo container right behind it and I don't know if I want to put it down here yeah let's put it down there it looks a little better like that let me uh, put those on the side and then we will put the welder right in front of it um, I don't think it matters which way the welder goes as far yeah there's only one it doesn't matter hmm I don't, actually I don't know which looks cooler that looks pretty cool and we're going to do the same thing on this side. This is going to be a two welder. This will be a fast welder. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly how the welding uh, items work in this game. But I'm pretty sure it welds in a 3x3 three three area or something. Like um, It welds a lot more than just one block at a time. It's definitely a lot faster than welding by hand. A lot better and a lot more fun. I'm really glad they, they've introduced this stuff to the game. It's pretty cool. And with a few easy modifications to this ship now the ship's gonna look like crap it's probably gonna handle terribly uh but uh i think it'll get the job done so we might have to add a, um a few more things to it but yeah this ship's gonna be really ugly but that, that's okay this isn't gonna be my main ship anyway this is going this isn't gonna be my my main welding ship anyway i have i have other plans so let's put these right here and I will take my thrusters. By the way, I I haven't played since they did this. See how they change the look of the thrusters? They look so much cooler now, I think. Um, probably won't need any lights, but, you know, I won't need any spotlights, but for the sake of the Let's Play, I will put them on for you guys. There, and right there. All right, that should probably be okay. Let me go ahead and weld that up. Okay, I'm back, and this thing is done. Um, I think I'll name this thing the crab. I don't know. <laughs> it's just what it kind of really makes me think of. Let's see how it handles. Kind of curious. Uh, you know what? You know what? It's actually, um, interestingly smooth. <laughs> like, really smooth. Okay, well, there we go, man. We, this, is, this is ridiculously smooth, actually. All right. Now, I have a couple of um, projects I can do next. I can either do the solar panels, or I can uh, build out this long stretch of of platform that's going to be a landing pad. I think I'm going to do the solar panels next. I uh, probably only have time to do one thing. I think I want to get the solar panels going. So let's uh, let's go ahead and work on the solar panels. Uh, there's a couple things I want to work on in this game. Uh, I want to make a ship that's going to be a welder slash grinder, which is not going to be this ship, but I do want to make one. I want to finish the autumn Nicole because I want to like make that look more presentable. 
Um, I want to do the uh, solar panels, which obviously I'm going to. I want to do the landing pad. And I have a new, a new plan uh, for a ship that's going to be a... It's going to be a cargo ship. It's going to be a small ship. And I'm going to put probably two... At least two medium uh, cargo containers on it. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to break out this wall right here. The C for the Castiel Space Station is going to come down. This wall is going to get broken out. Maybe not the whole thing. Maybe just a, wall, uh, a door. And it's going to come out into what is going to be a hangar bay. Okay? And the hangar bay is going to be for my cargo ship to come in. It's going to come in the, in the hangar bay. I actually have a couple ways that I can make an actual opening and closing gate. But it's kind of buggy at the moment. I'm not sure if I want to. But I think I can make a gate that will open and close. So it'll come into the hangar bay. And it'll, it'll like dock right around here. And what I'll do is I'll get out and I'll be in a hangar. And I will come through this door right here and come right to all, where all my storage is. And that way I can grab as many materials as I want and put them in the storage containers in the cargo transport ship. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. And that way, when I want to start building big ships, which I do want to get into, I can grab a cargo ship and uh, just move around with a ton of cargo and just plant it wherever I want and just go in and get the uh, items. It's going to be really cool, but that's for the future. Let me uh, let me actually go in and get what I'm going to need for the solar panels. Because uh, I'm going to build up some solar panels and we're going to use our new ship to do it. The crab. The crab. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. It was the mosquito before, but now it doesn't look like a mosquito. So it's going to be the crab. Alright, let me get all this stuff together. I'll be right back. Okay, now I didn't have any solar panels, so I started I started my uh, assembler to making them. But I want to show you what's cool about this ship. So, actually what I should have done is I should have connected these two cargo containers. Um, if you connect the two cargo containers, it doesn't matter what you put where. Now, here's the thing about cargo containers. There are certain items in this game that can fit through these small holes. And there's certain items that can fit through the big holes. And not a lot of items can fit through the small holes. So what you got to do is if you want to share any of this stuff, you have to use the big the big conveyor items. You just have to. Uh, I have this problem on the multiplayer server. Um, there are certain items that will fit through the small holes. I think ores are one of them and little things here and there. But for the most part, you got to use these big connectors because for the most part, you're just, you have to because a lot of, most of the stuff won't fit through the small ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this stuff up roughly in half and uh, put a, put half in each one. Now, if I had them if I had them connected like I was supposed to properly, then this wouldn't be necessary. But uh, you know, it is necessary. I got to remember what's what too. Let me see what I need for this. Uh, these solar panels, number nine. I need solar solar cells, computer steel plates, small steel tubes, metal grids. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this off camera. I just wanted to see you to see how I'm loading up the medium cargo containers. By the way, for those of you who don't watch my 7 Days to Die Let's Play, I try not to show too much inventory management. So, that's why I'm doing this off camera. Okay, so I've got all the uh, solar panels in there. I've got, I've got some of my inventory as well. I'm going to try and put down some of these solar panels. I think I have enough for two or possibly three. I'm just going to use two for now, though. Let me see if I can get put these down. I think I gotta build this up a little bit more. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this one down. Can we? No, it's the wrong side. Alright, so we should be able to do this. There we go. It doesn't look like it's gonna go down. Am I I'm missing stuff? Oh, okay, I need the construction components for it. So we're gonna go ahead and get get some construction components now. Solar panels um, actually take quite a bit to make. Uh, you have to use some rare resources for their <clears throat> for the solar cells. You see right here, the solar cells use gold, uh, silicon, and platinum. Those are all pretty rare, although I do have a lot of them. Uh, but I'm not going to go crazy with the solar panels. Actually, I do need some more of these construction components. I don't need them, right? Actually, I think I do need them. No, I actually don't absolutely need them. Oh, I can't even hold that many. All right, well, let's put some some of these steel plates back. Let's put a uh, 200 back. And then we will take the... Oh, we still have all the solar cells with us. <laughs> wow. Alright. Let's let's see what we can do. We, we definitely make two. But um, I don't want to go crazy with these things because, you know, they're... 
they're not really all that useful. I mean, they do help me a little bit with energy consumption. They're not going to run anything by themselves, but they do help when it comes to not using as much uranium. So, you know, uh, did I put that on backwards? Yeah, I did. You dumbass. Okay, well, let's put it on this side since it's, it's already set up for this side. Let's go ahead. There we go. And now we just got to turn it around. See if I can turn this around. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No good. No good. All right, let's try this. There we go. Okay. So, um, we could probably make another one, uh, but I think we'll just go what we have for now because I want to I want to show you this bad boy in action. This thing's so cool. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring our welding thing down here. And let's try this. So what I usually like to do with these is, since I can't see directly in front of me, I will kind of hold down Alt and then move over to the side. And I've gotten quite adept to using these like these. So one thing you can do if you want to weld or grind without holding down the button is you hold down the welding or grinding button, go to your inventory, let go of the button, and then go out of your inventory. And this stuff will be automatically welding once we get close enough. There we go. Now watch how fast this goes. Now you know how long these things take. So I could just sit here. I could probably get out of the ship if I wanted to. And this should go pretty... Ooh, did I run out of... No, there's no way I ran out of materials. Okay, that's weird. I sh that shouldn't have stopped. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and look in our inventory. And in the medium cargo container... Yeah, you know what? We ran out of um, we ran out of solar cells. Okay, that's not a problem. Remember, it takes 64 solar cells per, you know, per thing. And actually, all the solar cells are probably already put in. No, they're not. Oh, we're actually missing the metal grids. Okay, I'm sorry, we're not missing the solar cells. We're missing the metal grids. So let me go get some metal grids. Um, the one thing that'll be nice to have a... Now, you might think that having a welding ship and a grinding ship on the same ship is overkill, but it's not. It's perfect because as you grind stuff, you keep the stuff on the ship, which you then use to weld. It's it's beautiful. It's just... It's really great the way it works, actually. Uh, let's put away 100. And we do not have a lot of metal grids, so let's stop producing these. Go ahead and produce 100 metal grids. What does it just take? Iron? Screw it. I'll take 200. So we'll take those metal grids, and we'll take whatever we can here. That should be plenty. Um, yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, watching this video, I do stream. And I use, sometimes I'll do space engineers on a stream. And what, I'll do, what I do is I have a stream world, a world that I only play on stream. And uh, I usually let people on the stream come join me. Anyone can join me. So if you ever want to join, you know, feel free. And um, and I just build stuff. You know, I built the uh, I built the, the, the ship that does the welding and the... Uh, and the grinding at the same time and it worked beautifully it was ridiculous how well it worked all right so let's do this all right so this is a little bit slower than i was hoping but it's still a lot faster than doing it by hand um how much faster i'm not really sure but i know it's faster i could probably even get out of the ship huh let's try nope once you get out of the ship it goes away okay fair enough It'd be nice to be able to put the welders on, like, so you can get out of the ship. That'd be pretty cool. Then you can get out of the ship and help the ship weld. Hmm. Okay, I... Uh, well, I was going to say the fun pimps. Um, this isn't Seven Days to Die. Okay, whoever develops this game, I think that needs to happen. So that's red. Why is that red? Green. We got one green. Is it because I'm in the way? Two green. Come on, give me one more green. There we go. Three green. That's all I need. So this isn't going to work because we actually need, need more solar cells. We need 64 between the two welders. And um, we don't have it. Actually, I probably don't even need it. I, actually, I don't think it matters which one I put them in. Um, do I have 64? No, I don't. Let's go get the rest of the solar panels. I want to make that last one. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, when you have two welders, you only need the materials in one of the welders because it'll automatically... Like, putting stuff into an item while you're building it is instantaneous. I didn't even think of that before, but it makes sense. 61. 
And 60, 72, there we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, I only need this stuff in one welder. Because it's just like when I'm welding something. If I go to weld something, it'll automatically put everything in there. As a matter of fact, let's see how that works. So this one, all right. So this one, this welder right here has no solar cells. Okay, so let's put all the solar cells in this one and see how that goes. By the way, this is another ship I would like to park right next to my cargo containers inside because imagine that, you know, I just could just load stuff so easily. I definitely have to make a hangar over there. I'm definitely going to make a hangar over there. All right, so let's do this. By the way, I, um... When I was me when I was like pausing the video before I forgot the I messed up with my timer a little bit so I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. I'll probably end it after this though just because, you know. Oh look look on the left hand side look at how far away I am, and it's actually doing the uh, the light armor block. Did you see that? Wow welding ships guys this is the way to go if you're playing this game you want a welding ship. Let's take a look at it from first person. Man that's sweet. Man, that is really, really nice. I like this ship. I like it a lot. Still takes a long time to weld these things, but that's okay. There we go. Four solar panels. Now what I think I'll do is... Well, let's just finish this stuff up. Why not? Might as well. Watch how fast this goes. Look at that. Look at that. And d don't forget, guys, I didn't... My welding times haven't been changed. They went back to normal. So that was quick. So, um, I don't know how far I want to go up with this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out. We've got a few minutes left, so let's uh, let's work on this for some more for future uh, solar panels. Oh, we need some steel plate. See, that's a nice thing to grab some steel plate from this. I like it. I like it a lot. So what we'll do is we will have this going right here. And then going up. And then it'll just be another run of solar panels. Okay. Now, that's pretty effective. I kind of like that. It, it could probably be more effective. I don't... You know, I don't really need this block in the middle. Or even on the bottom. But... In the, in the, with the idea of structural integrity and, like, I want to be able to hold these things together, I'm going to keep them there. Uh, they do take up needless space, but I think they look cool, so. Also, uh, some people were mentioning that I was talking about putting, uh, uh, turrets on my base, and some people got some really good ideas, and what I'm, what I'm going to do is, and I actually thought of this idea before people said something, but then people said something, and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to make standalone defensive turret ships uh, I haven't come up with the design yet but it's definitely gonna be a large ship design but it's still gonna be a very small ship and the point of this ship is I'm gonna fly it up here and just put it in front of my base and just leave the turrets on um, the only thing it really needs in it is is uh, cargo containers and turrets being fed ammo maybe like two or three, maybe four turrets, depending on what sides I want it on. And the cool thing about ships is they're mobile. If, if, the, if the, uh, the, the asteroids are coming from a spot that maybe I didn't, I didn't notice or it's not being fully protected, I can always move the ship around um, to, to best defend against the asteroids. Uh, so, but even with that said, um, it's really easy to get hit with asteroids. I fully intend to get hit with asteroids even with those, um, I don't know what to call them. What do you think I should call them, guys? Basically, they're just ships, big ships, and their only purpose is to carry Gatling guns around and protect my base. Shouldn't even take up that much, uh, it really shouldn't even take up that much, um, power, honestly. Uh, the only thing it needs in it is it needs cargo containers, and it needs containers that, um, it needs cargo containers and it needs a conveyor system to where all the cargo containers are feeding ammo automatically into the guns. I'm going to have to come up with a design for that. That's that's going to be cool. And maybe I'll put turrets on my base as well because I do like the idea of turrets on my base. I think it's cool from just a coolness standpoint. I'll bet you I'm out of metal. 
aren't I? Yep, okay. Well, I'm out of metal, and my timer will be going off soon, and I have no idea how long this video's been going, but I think we got a lot done here. I think this is really cool, and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this, uh, this Let's Play. I got a lot of stuff in mind, so, yeah. Okay, well, that's going to be it for episode 19, and I'll see you next time for episode 20. Till then, take it easy.